Hello Grade 11s and welcome to today's lesson on the cosine function. We are going to look at what happens to the graph when we change its properties such as the amplitude, domain, range and period. Our standard graph is y equals cos x. Its main coordinates are 0, 1, 90, 0, 180, negative 1, 270, 0, 360, 1. When plotted, the cos forms a wave. It has a period of 360 degrees and an amplitude of 1. Amplitude is the height of the graph from the middle point. When a graph is moved vertically, it can be difficult to see the amplitude. When this happens, we can use a calculation to find it. Amplitude is equal to half times the maximum y value minus the minimum y value of the graph. If we change the amplitude of the standard graph to 3, it will only affect the y values. We multiply all our y coordinates by 3. Let's plot these points on the same axis as our standard graph and see what this graph looks like. The change in amplitude stretched the standard graph. Let's find the equation of the new graph. Our standard graph has the equation y equals cos x. We wanted the amplitude of the graph to be 3 times bigger, so we multiplied all the y values by 3. This is written as y equals 3 times cos x. If there is a change in the amplitude, the y values of the standard graph will be multiplied by a. We write this as y equals a times cos x. We can horizontally stretch or compress the cos graph by changing the period of the graph. Remember that the period of the graph is the number of degrees it takes for the graph to complete its shape. The variable k shows a change in period. This is our standard graph of y equals cos x. y equals cos 4x has now been plotted on the same set of axes. Do you notice that now the graph looks squashed? We can see that the value of k changes the period of the graph. A formula is used to find the period of a cos graph. Period is equal to 300 and 60 degrees divided by k. In other functions, the value of q shifts the graph up or down. It is the same with trig functions. If q is positive, the graph will shift up. And if q is negative, then the graph will shift down. Let's plot the standard graph of y equals cos x. And on the same set of axes, draw the same graph two units above it. The equation of the new graph is y equals cos x plus 2. Now let's sketch the graph y equals cos x minus 3 on the same set of axes. This graph is 3 units below the standard function. We are moving the graph vertically, so only the y coordinates change. We know how to stretch the cos graph both vertically and horizontally. We also know how to shift the graph vertically. Now let's look at how to shift it horizontally. The variable p shows horizontal shifts when working with functions. We include p in the equation to get y equals a times cos k, x plus p in brackets, plus q. Let's draw the graph y equals cos x minus 30 degrees on the same set of axes as the standard graph. We can see that y equals cos x minus 30 degrees is 30 degrees to the right. Because we are horizontally shifting, only the x values will shift. The y coordinates remain the same. Let's go over what we've learned so far. In the formula, y equals a times cos k in brackets x plus p plus q, a vertically compresses or stretches the graph and the value of k horizontally compresses or stretches it. p shifts the graph horizontally and q shifts the graph vertically. All these variables can make the formula look pretty confusing. 
you should only ever be asked to work with two variables at a time, so don't get too overwhelmed. Just memorize the effect each one has on the graph and you'll do fine. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. To learn more about trick functions, try the task video at the end of this series or visit our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.